I see social enterprise as a really important aspect for rejuvenating small community towns because it gives the communities an opportunity to be involved in something that they know will work in their community. It's not something that's being brought in from outside. Social enterprise seems to be this really neat fit of being able to provide the services that we need and opportunities in our community whilst also not relying on the government or external funders to keep us sustainable. We set out to take ownership of something that was going on in our community and to grab hold of things and just do things when the need arises. As First Nations people, our ways of knowing and being are basically the principles of what we are basing social enterprise on. And we've been doing this for a really long time. It's just a Western way of saying community. In 2022, the Social Enterprise World Forum and ACA are hosting the first ever Social Enterprise World Forum Rural Gathering in the Southern Hemisphere. We're bringing people from all around the world and locals too, from right across Australia, to accelerate change in our regions. Social enterprises are a more significant part in rural communities than they are in urban communities. And our role is to convene and to bring together those who are leading rural social enterprise dialogue, those who are interested in sustainable, resilient rural economies, to ensure that we can share that best practice and go forward together. It's really good for the young people to run their own little small business in the community. That's why we bring them up here and bright, so they can learn what that mean to become a strong role model. From Maria to Bright, we will come here and share our culture so they can learn in two worlds. It's been interesting just to see how many parallels there are between the struggles and opportunities that rural communities face. And I think social enterprise has an important part to play in being a vehicle for supporting that rejuvenation. The communities themselves have ideas, resources, and skills. At time, what they lack is confidence. And if we can bring the sense of hope and confidence to the community, they can do wonderful work. When we talk about networks, what we're talking about is people supporting people, and that is crucial in rural communities. So if you're going to help an entrepreneur genuinely find their path and build the business the way they want it, they have to be connected in with a broad group of people around them. It's all about relationships and it's funny because we have a small voice, but if we put our voices together and connect across state lines, across international borders as well, we can make our voice big. We're all kind of grappling with the same thing. We might be at different stages, but the levers are pretty much the same. It's about money and policy and, and people and capacity. Like that's, that's world over. It takes champions to help people imagine another paradigm and then spark collaboration. And I think if we can do those things, community rejuvenation occurs. The reason that I'm here and the message that I want to send is nothing about us without us. Give us a seat at the table and let us work together to form solutions. Together we have the best opportunities of bringing the heart and soul back into rural communities and making them sustainable long into the future. Pick one thing and do it well. Roll your sleeves up and get involved and just do that one thing really well. And if everyone did that, we'd be fine. It's so exciting to see so many people doing business for purpose and putting back into their communities from all over the world, sharing advice and supporting each other in making this a real change in the world. <laughs>